After more than a decade as allies, two of Ivory Coast's largest political parties face off in local elections on Saturday after an acrimonious divorce that is making Ivorians nervous ahead of a presidential poll in 2020. The alliance struck in 2005 between President Alassane Ouattara's African Democratic Assembly and former President Henry Konani Bedi's Democratic Party of Côte d'Ivoire. Uh, the PDCI was meant to dominate for generations and help heal the political rifts that led to civil war three years earlier. But the pact that propelled Ouattara to presidential election victories in 2010 and 2015 collapsed last month as the parties bickered over whose candidate should now be in the poll position. Now, both the, P the RDR and PDCI are casting Saturday's vote for hundreds of mayors and regional council seats as a test of strength heading into 2020. Some voters say the coalition split had heightened their concerns about a return to violence. I want to go back to Pennsylvania where we were earlier trying to talk to Professor Nyaka Lagoke of Lincoln University. Professor, welcome back. Thank you, I'm here. Yes, and uh, yes, I did ask you the question about this uh, breakup in the coalition of uh, political parties in uh, Ivory Coast. And the question was, why should it cause so much tension just because they've decided they no longer want to stay together? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, so, 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 uh, uh, a very uh, complicated situation in the country. Uh, and uh, we had uh, 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 Babul Ram was in power, and then, you know, of course. Uh, the idea, the PDCI came together and then they put together a coalition and then uh, they defeated Babu militarily and after it was, Babu was supposed to have been defeated uh, electorally. Then after the rise of Mr. Watara uh, to power, uh, there was a ruling coalition uh, composed of those two, country, uh, two political parties and many other small political parties. But uh, recently, you know, there are news and Mr. Watara is showing some interest, uh, you know, to either uh, stay in power after the end of his second term, or he's trying to put somebody else after, uh, you know, after his term. And then it um, looks like he had promised Mr. BD that after, you know, his term in 2020, uh, the former political party, uh, the former ruling political party, PTCI, will come back to power. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I seem not to be respecting his word. So then, of course, there is a, a, a dissension between those two political parties. But there is also another one within Mr. Watara's own political party, the leader, the, the leader of the rebellion, uh, the Speaker of the House, Soro Giyob, is now leading another civil, so far, rebellion against Mr. Watara within his mm -hmm. own political party. And there are some independent candidates uh, who claim Soro Giyob, yeah. who are uh, who are competing against the candidates are chosen by Mr. Alessandro Mawatara. So people no. are thinking that something uh, is going to become more tension in the country no, after the, uh, October 13th. There is a lot of accusations, a counter accusation, including Watara supporters accusing the PDCI of reverting to the tribal politics that uh, caused the trouble in the first place. What should be done? What can be done at the moment to create at least a sense of cohesiveness within the country and perhaps a peaceful coexistence into the future beyond 2020? Again, it all depends on Mr. Watara. He so far is the leader of the country, and when he freed, you know, uh, Simon Babo and some you know, hundreds of political prisoners uh, in, uh, in 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 August, uh, we were w waiting to see Mr. Watara engaging the entire political elite, you know, so that we, they can have a serious conversation about uh, reconciliation and peace. But he is not doing that. And then, uh, with the countries, there is a, the countries seem to be going to another conflict. And then, mm -hmm. all the signs are, uh, you know, showing that, you know, we are going for another conflict. Well, we hope uh, for the best that there will be peace. Nyaka, we appreciate your perspective. Uh, Nyaka Lagoke is a professor of Pan African Studies at Lincoln University in Pennsylvania.